Welcome to our homestead, friends. It's almost 100 degrees already out here in East Texas, and not every plant needs full sun and temperatures that hot. Some of those fruits include tomatoes and strawberries. If it gets too hot, they just will not produce. So to extend your season on producing those fruits, you need to shade them somehow. So today I'm gonna show you how we are making a shading structure with some old PVC and some shade cloth. Let's get going. So for our shading structure itself, we're using this old one inch PVC. So what I did is I just bought a couple of T's, one inch to one inch T's, and you'll see how we string things up through these. Or you can buy caps. And on the end cap here, I bought this little eye bolt. And those little eye bolts are 3 16 by one and a half. I simply just bought an end cap, threaded the eye bolt through there, put the nut on the other side, just put it on the top, and we're gonna use that to string through some paracord. So everybody's garden is going to be completely different. So just take a hacksaw and cut your PVC to the lengths that you need it. So to dig out these holes for these really thin PVC pipes, I bought one of these really small drill augers. It is awesome. Guys, I totally recommend getting one of these for work like this. I'll put the link to this in the description below, but I'm always using small PVC pipe, all the extra pipe that I have for little trellising projects all over the homestead. So getting this is awesome because I was using a post hole digger before digging a big six inch hole when it's unnecessary and it's a whole ton of work. This is super simple. So we are using the big tomato trellis as part of the shading trellis. If you haven't seen our build on this tomato trellis for our indeterminate tomatoes, click on the video at the top of the screen. But like I said before, everybody's garden is going to be different. If you're able to use some sort of structure in your garden already as a, uh, a piece of this new shading trellis, go ahead and do that. So let's talk about some of the other items that you're going to need for this project. These little carabiners that I've had for years, I use them on our original greenhouse build. They're so cheap, but they are still in great shape. We're gonna be using these little carabiners. And we are also going to be using a 50% shade cloth with these grommets. Now I have another shade cloth that I purchased that doesn't have these grommets. I would not recommend purchasing that one because it comes with these little plastic clips that kind of bite into it and then it's got this loop that you can hold it down with. These little clips don't stay very well at all. They pop off all the time. So if you're getting a shade cloth, get the one with the grommet. I will list that one in the description below. Now I'm going to do an entire video on just the next item here, and that is paracord and how I use it in the garden. But for this project, you're gonna need some paracord. If you wanna use some sort of wire cable, you can, but the paracord is a lot cheaper and it lasts a long time. Now I'm gonna take the paracord and loop it through all of the eye bolts and all the T fittings around the entire structure. Make sure with paracord, you have a lighter handy to burn the edges or it's gonna fray. After that, I'll do some big crosses with the paracord for some added extra support underneath the shade cloth because the span is about 20 feet. I'm gonna start off by tying onto our most rigid piece, which is the tomato trellis. Now, I always tie bowline, bowline, bowline knots everywhere I go because it's one of the best knots for the garden. It comes apart really easy. It doesn't cinch down. It is a fantastic knot to learn how to do.
Here's the nice thing about the shade cloth with the grommets. You can just hook the little carabiners through there and then clip it right onto your paracord. Now, if you need to take this down and give your plants more sun, then you can just unclip the top one and then it'll slide right down and you can bunch it up and kind of get it out of the way without taking it completely off. Now you can see I did some other anchoring to these outside posts in my garden fencing. And that's just because the PVC is obviously quite flexible and the corner posts were flexing out. So any corner stabilization that you can do, do it. So we are here under our shade structure. Now you can see it is sagging a little bit and that's because paracord stretches and PVC bends. Now if you're okay with that, cool. If not, you're gonna be buying galvanized pipe and wire, and that's gonna be way more expensive, or even wire and a wood, which is still going to be way more expensive than this. And for this, we just utilized this old PVC that was laying around and bought a couple of end caps, a couple little eye bolts, and a couple of T fittings. Something else to keep in mind too, is you are going to want to buy the shade cloth at the proper sizing. We bought this and didn't size it properly. We didn't buy it for this application. We've had this for years. So it's pulling in on the ends. If you size it properly, it's not gonna do that as much. But this works, and I always say work with what you have and try to save some money where you can. Even these two pieces of shade cloth that we do have are two completely different brands, completely different types, but you gotta make it work. Is there a better way to do this? Yeah, maybe, but I'm just giving you one option how we are shading our plants during this nasty hot summer in Texas. So if you are worried about any of your plants not getting enough sun because of your shade cloth, don't worry about it because you will get morning sun and you will get late evening sun. It's probably 5.30 to six o'clock right now and you can see how much sun these are getting. But in the hottest part of the day, noon to 4 p.m. they are shaded. Now go click on this series of videos right here which shows you exactly how we built that greenhouse from Grower Solution. Have a great day, we'll see you next time, bye.